Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I've got a request of the Facebook advertiser community, and that request is to stop assuming that changing one setting is the difference between your Facebook ad campaign succeeding and failing. And if you just find this one setting, you just get the one setting right, everything will work. I'll explain a little bit more about what I mean and what you should be doing instead in a second. Before I do that, I just want to very quickly ask for you to smash that like button on this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new and haven't done so already. So I am in an example Facebook ad account. I'm at the campaign level and I'm probably looking at the, the setting that people are guilty of this the most in, in terms of guilty of assuming that if they just change one thing, they will see success with their Facebook ad campaigns. I cannot tell, I literally couldn't even imagine the number of how many times I've had in a, a YouTube comment, my Facebook group, email, message, any way people communicate with me, where someone will say, I ran a conversions campaign, it did not work, do you think I should try traffic instead? And what they're thinking is, the reason why my campaign didn't work is because it's a conversions campaign, and if I just change that setting, and that's why I said I'm at the campaign level in the campaign objective section, if I just change that setting to traffic or something else, it will work. That is not the case. I'll give you an example of what, why that's bad thinking. Having a con Selecting conversions is the option that I would recommend you go with the vast majority of the time. If you see my stuff, you know that I'm a big fan of a conversions campaign. It's what's going to get you the best results most of the time. Selecting the conversions objective is helpful, but it is not enough. It's like saying, my business will succeed because I have nice branding. Got a nice logo, got a nice website, etc. Having high quality branding will certainly help your business succeed, right? Having a nice logo, nice packaging, nice you know, website, all that will definitely help. But if your product is rubbish, or the price is way too high, or there's no demand for it, doesn't matter how good your branding is, your business will not succeed. And the same applies to Facebook advertising. Just because you select the conversions objective does not mean that your Facebook ad campaign is going to succeed. And it's rare that the difference between a, a campaign getting, say, zero purchases or zero leads and it doing really well is one setting. That almost never happens. You know, unless you've made a really bad error, like you're targeting a thousand people, like some tiny, tiny audience. Like it very rarely happens that a mistake is that bad. And it certainly isn't going to be the case with a campaign objective. So what I want you to think about and what I want, what I want people in the Facebook advertising community to think about is Facebook advertising as a skill. As, as, as think about it as, as a business that needs to be developed. It's it's. You need all the pieces in, of the puzzle in place to see the best results. You, yes, you need to choose the right campaign objective, but you also need to have good targeting. You also need to have eye-catching creative. You also need to be offering something that people really want. Um, you need to have your delivery settings set up the right way. You perhaps need to have built an audience by building an email list or a Facebook group before you see the best results of your Facebook ad campaign. Um, you need to have high quality imagery or videos in your ad. You need to have copy that's, um, you know, engaging and makes you want to read and describes the benefits of your products. You need to have it all in place. Now, I don't want that to be disheartening. It shouldn't sound scary, but it's it's the truth. You know, I, when I create this content, I do it because I want to help people get better results with their Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns. And I just see the sort of... Is it laziness? I suppose it is. It's 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 people worried about it not working, so they just jump from one little thing to another instead of just committing to, no, I'm going to make this good. I'm going to make this really good. So they jump from, oh, my conversion campaign didn't work. It didn't work because it's a conversion campaign. Let's turn to traffic. Or, um, oh, my campaign didn't work because I was I didn't have detailed targeting expansion turned on. If I turn that on, it will work. Or these little settings aren't are very rarely going to be make or break with your Facebook and Instagram advertising efforts. Instead, think about getting all the elements right. All the elements right. And you don't have to be perfect with all the elements. It's not like you need the, you know, to hire the most expensive copywriter ever to write your copy and get the best graphic designer in the world to create your imagery, but it all needs to be good. And, and a way to think about it is 
with the online marketing space, Facebook advertising included, it's not quite a winner take all, but it's pretty close. So the difference between, you know, uh, uh, um, let's say, for example, you had a competitor and your competitor was advertising the same product or service as you, but they were advertising it 20% cheaper. OK. And you run basically identical campaigns. What do you think the difference in results is going to be between those two? I would suggest that the competitor that is advertising the product or service, same thing, 20% cheaper, is not going to get 20% better results. The results are going to be far better than yours. Now, you don't just have to do it on price. It could be ad creative. It could be copy. It could be targeting. It could be all sorts of parts of your Facebook ad campaign. But you, if you want to get the best results possible, you need to win. You need to do a better job than your competition. Not all your competitors, but the majority. That's that's it. Where, the, where the, the best results are, you have to be better. There's no sneaky little trick or tick the box. You have to be better. So I would... I would say that if you're really committed to for Facebook advertising to be a cornerstone of your business, how you attract customers, how you market yourself, which it absolutely can be and has been for tons of business and will continue to be and is a great place to do it. If you want to commit to something, Facebook ads is a great way to go. But then commit to getting it right. Commit to going through educational material like my videos um, and going, right, I'm not just going to watch one video and go, I've got it. I'm going to see what do I need for my conversion window? Um how should my lookalike audience be set up? What should my campaign structure be? Should I be using? And, and add in all the little detail that make all the difference. And that's how you get to the point where you have better campaigns than your competition. And that's how you win. And that's how you get the best results possible. It is a competitive landscape, very competitive. Your competitors are probably targeting the same people as you. How are you going to get great results? You have to offer something better or present it in a better way than them in order to do it. So... Bit of a rant on this one, but it's because I see it come up again and again. And I know when someone asking me the right that question, they're not thinking about Facebook advertising the right way. They think it's just something you turn on and either works or not. No, it's a skill. You wouldn't start playing tennis and then day one playing your local tournament, lose and go tennis doesn't work. That would be that would be nonsense. You'd be like, no, I'm not good enough at tennis to win the local tournament yet. But I can practice, I can train, I can get better. Same with Facebook ads. I can learn, I can consume educational resources. I can then test that in my ad account. I can gain experience and realize, okay, for my market, I need to do things this way, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, bit of a rant, but I, I hope that helps. And, and, and the takeaway here is stop thinking that changing one setting like a campaign objective is the make or break. It's not. You've got to be good at this. You've got to do all the elements correctly. It's not that hard to get that good at it because a lot of your competition is just looking for that one setting. If you can put all the pieces together, you will win. OK, now for a go, uh, a couple of things I want to mention. The first is our Facebook ads mastermind group. So free Facebook uh, group with 70,000 plus Facebook advertisers just like you want to get better results on Facebook ads. Questions are being asked and answered all the time. I do free live trainings in this group most week. If that sounds like something you want to be part of, um, we'd love to have you join. So go ahead and click on the link in the video description below. You'll be able to join for free and uh, and we'd love to have you. And um, other thing I want to mention is our Facebook advertising services. So my company, Lead Guru, is a Facebook advertising agency, specialist Facebook and Instagram advertising agency. And we create, manage and optimize campaigns for our clients. Now, we do have a minimum budget requirement of 3K per month. So if you're not spending that sort of budget or about to spend that sort of budget, then we won't be able to work with you at this point, unfortunately. But if you do meet that criteria and you want to find out more about our services and see if we'd be a good fit, you can book a, t book a call with one of my team members uh, right now. Just go down to the link in the video description. You can click through to our website, get a call booked in, and they can explain exactly how our service works, um, see if we'd be a good fit. We may well have worked with a business like yours in the past, um, so, so we might have a, a leg up on, on what works best in, in your scenario, that sort of thing. So yeah, 30 minute call, I'd recommend you go ahead and book and, you know, hopefully we'll be uh, we're working with each other um, sometime soon. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below to let me know. Comment below if you've got any questions. I'm, um, I don't, I'm not able to respond to all the questions, but I certainly go through them all and see them and I do respond to, to a good chunk. Um, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new and haven't done so already. Best of luck with your Facebook ad campaigns, guys. Go about creating good, high quality campaigns in all areas. And uh, once you've got that in place, I can tell you from experience, the rewards are unbelievable.
well worth taking the time to get really good at this. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk soon. Bye-bye.